So another postmaster practitioner preparation video, which will be useful for anyone at this point for, uh, who has an, done NLP practitioner. And uh, so the next topic is about eliciting states. Um, previous videos, we covered um, predicates, we, offer, uh, we offered um, foretoppling, um, how to use visual, auditory, olfactory, and gustatory information, and uh, we did association, dissociation. Later, we're going to go into the perceptual positions of NLP as well. But eliciting states. When we're communicating, we're, we're always creating an emotion in someone else. We do that non-verbally as well as verbally. And uh, based on that emotion, people communicate back to us. And that makes us feel something because they are eliciting a state in us. Now, in NLP, we'll learn how to do that intentionally. Now, for the postmaster practitioner, you don't have to be a rock star. Um, in fact, if you have taken the global NLP training, NLP practitioner, um, you've, you've had enough practice in there. But if you have done practice after, that would be great. Um, I would spend a couple of minutes sort of like going through it in your head, maybe do it in front of a mirror, maybe apply it in your day. And eliciting states is sort of like you, 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 you give someone that emotion. So you associate them. You let them imagine something. So for instance, you could uh, elicit a state of being in the state of relaxation and peacefulness of Bali. That's when you can look around and see the amazing rice paddies and you, you hear the wind and, and, and you feel the warmth of the sun. And, and, and while you're walking, you get this sensation of this inner peace, this sense of um, experiencing Bali the, the relaxation of it and so you know so you, you place someone there you use your tonality you use your volume you it's almost like your your voice becomes a musical instrument you use your body um, you can also uh, elicit a state by getting someone to dance or to move around to sit down or stand up um, in the global NLP training I, I've done a powerful state of relaxation uh, using actually uh, uh, techniques from NLP to really zone yourself out like you're going in a trance almost or you're actually going in a trance sometimes I lose my students and and then there's like to fire someone out like they really can do that you know, for instance Tony Robbins is very good at, at state elicitation um, and, and so it's, 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 it's getting someone to feel something and, and you use the predicates and the foretoppling and your body and your words in order to achieve that and so that's state elicitation next video I'm gonna go into where can you use this other than creating an emotion